Hi guys, hope you're all okay. And yes, this is a new type of video for me. <laughs> Today's video is called 431 Movies You Must See Before You Die. It's actually the start of a new series that I'm going to be doing. I've never actually talked on this channel about my passion for movies before. I've done it on the vlog channel where I let my geek show a little bit hardcore. Um, but yeah, I'm really into films, always have been, um, for the longest time, when VHS, VHS, VHF, oh I can't, I can't believe I no longer know what that's called, video cassettes, um, I had the biggest collection of those, like massive collection of those growing up, and then when DVDs came out, I kind of tried to buy everything that I had and um, yeah, I, at one point I had a massive DVD collection, um, crazy, like hoarder-esque. And yeah, I just really love watching movies, always have done. And then it kind of faded a little bit because John isn't the biggest movie watcher. Like, he's got maybe a handful of films that he will watch repeatedly. Um, such as Gladiator, Negotiator, The 300, Oceans, that's kind of John's film rotation. Um, whereas I could like all types of films, I like zombie. If you watch the vlog channel, you know how I feel about zombies. I love a zombie film, love a horror film, but I also like the romantic stuff and the comedy and everything in between. Um, so yeah, so I'm really into movies and I made a decision that I wanted to do the 100 movies before you die and I really wanted to kind of watch them and because I did study media for a bit and I kind of wanted to see you know I wanted to get through them see if they enriched my life uh, so I went to good old Google 100 films to watch before you die and everyone had a different list <laughs> everyone had a different list and so I kind of took I think it was the, like the front page of the Google search 100 films to watch before you die and I combined them and obviously there were a lot of duplicates and that's how I got to the number 431. I will list all the movies down below so you can check them out. Some of them I have seen, some of them I have never heard of, um, but yes, I my aim is I'm going to watch every film in that list and I'm going to do a three minute video about said film. <laughs> and yes, that that is the plan. Obviously, this is gonna be a long-term goal because this is gonna take a while to do. Um, and I will try not to bombard you with this because I know movies aren't everyone's thing. So I was kind of thinking I'd try and do one video a week on the movie thing and then, you know, stick with everything else that I'm doing as well. So that's the plan. I don't want you to think I'm being all pompous and thinking, yes, I'm the world's best film critic, because I'm not. I just wanted to see if the 100 or 431 life-changing movies was actually going to enrich anything in me, or just give me some enjoyment, or scare me, or whatever their, their purpose is. Another thing I really wanted to do is document now, on this video, what my current 10 favourite movies are, actually. My 15! <laughs> really technical on an envelope. My 15 favourite movies. The plan was to do 10 and then I wrote out 20 and I got it down to 15 but I couldn't get it down anymore. So yes, I'm going to tell you my top 15 movies and then after I've watched 431 films, um, I want to see what my favourite, my top 15 movies are. I'm a little bit upset because some of my favourite movies aren't on the list and it's like, does that mean I have really bad taste? I think it might. Okay, so currently these aren't in any order, but my current 15 favourite movies is The Breakfast Club. It's an epic film. It is on the list, so I'm quite thankful for that. That was out in 1985. Um, Dogma, love Dogma. That's a 1999 film. Um, back when Ben Affleck and uh, Matt Damon were funny. Human Traffic is one of my all-time favourite films, that's from 99. Um, the Colour Purple, um, Whoopi Goldberg at her best, 1985. 
Dirty Dancing, Every Woman Loves Dirty Dancing, that's 1987. Pretty Woman, again, I think most women love Pretty Woman, that's 1990. One of the more modern films on my list is 28 Days Later, which is a zombie film, that's from 2002. Zombieland, um, that's a comedy, it's not really a zombie film, um, and that's from 2009. Children and Men, which I love it, it's such a good movie. I'm, I'm quite sure that's on the list. Um, that's from 2006. Braveheart, even though I don't really like Mel Gibson, I love that movie. Um, that's from 1995. Saving Private Ryan is from 1998. Seven, back when Brad Pitt was uh, with Gwyneth Paltrow. Epic film, love it, that's from 1995. Train Spotting, another awesome film, that's from 96. Lord of the Rings, the second one, which is Twin Towers, which is from 2002. I think it's the best Lord of the Rings film. Don't really rate the other two. No, that's a bit harsh. They're good films, but the second film in the Lord of the Rings trilogy is the best. Um, that's my phone. And Girl Interrupted, which is from 1999, the wonderful Brittany Murphy. Unsung hero of that movie, I think. So yes. This is more of an experiment for myself, but I'm hoping that you, some of you guys out there might enjoy it. Please check out the list of films, make your recommendations, tell me what you think is good and bad. Maybe help me where I can start, because there's a lot of movies, it's slightly overwhelming. Um, but yes, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye guys!